we are back with another creating a 5m framework video uh this time we're gonna be working a little more in admin getting some more admin stuff done um so starting off the bat we have a few things um such as the save chords and the spawn vehicle uh in our net events which is perfectly fine and we're gonna keep that um keep that just like so but we're gonna want to add a couple more things here um for the admins which is going to be a teleport to uh basically teleport to marker uh so teleport you to a waypoint so that's what we're going to be working on and i was thinking of possibly making all of these just functions um but hmm can we make them functions you know what we can we definitely can so we're going to make these all functions. So this is going to be uh, almost export based um, in case we want to call to anything else. So we'll just start off with just regular functions. Function, uh, we could do mp dash, or not even, no, we could do dot. Let's do dot, mp dot admin. And then I guess dot spawn vehicle um i guess we could do this and then obviously we want this to be like that and then we could end and basically we're just going to copy and paste exactly what's in here and we're just going to comment these out for now uh just in case we need to use anything so we'll do another function here function of mp dot admin dot just save chords uh, and it's going to call nothing and new copy paste this into here and we'll end that so that's going to save us our chords and we can keep that local blank up here as we will need that we'll save that just like so um next we are going to do function mp dot admin dot uh, teleport marker no teleport waypoint maybe okay teleport waypoint uh and in here we will need what source that is about it so we'll end this so now what we are going to do is look for a blip here so local blip which would be equal to get first blip info id and then the blip sprite which would be eight eight is your default uh blip sprite we could look this up in here let me just 5m natives so we'll go to 5m natives here and we'll show you let me type this in um oh blip sprite 5m Let's see what we got here and look for number eight which is right here which is your radar waypoint and that's what we're looking for so if that <clears throat> so we need another if statement so if uh does blip exist uh blip that's correct then what we are going to do is local point chords is going to equal get blip info from chord uh, and that's blip perfect 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 so now inside of here uh, we could just end this right now but then inside we're gonna have to do a for loop so we're, so for uh height uh equals one comma one thousand do and then it's set what is it set ped cord set ped cord keep vehicle yeah in case i guess i guess in case you teleport with uh cords uh so ped is going to be our source uh position is going to be our waypoint cords so that's going to be our point cords this is going to be point chords 
and inside here we could do point chords x and we'll just copy and paste this and we just change it to y and z so y and z just like so um so now we're going to want our height our height and then plus uh 0, 0.0 so this is going to go through our height and make sure uh we're basically set on the ground here and to make sure of this we could do a local ground um z pose z position which is the height position equals get ground or z 3d cores here and it's the same thing so we're gonna do point chords for x y and z so x let me copy paste this real quick for y and for z so y z and the unknown i don't believe we need anything unknown i guess we could just put it just height i believe let me just search up this native one more time so native to ignore water ground z interesting okay we'll screw it we'll just put that same thing for height just like so and then end this so if ground so basically if we found ground then what we're going to do is set set the chords so we're just going to copy and paste this in here and then we can end this off mm. Actually, we need to get out of this loop as well. So if we found the chords, then we'll break uh, break off the loop. And, and uh, actually, it's a for statement. We need to add a wait in here as well. So we could wait, let's do wait five, 10. 10 sounds good, 10 sounds good. Wait 10, so we'll wait 10. Um, uh, we could add an else in here, oops, else and, um, Inside of this, it would just be like a air. So I guess we could add a print. Uh, no blip found. Uh, to do dash dash add notification year later when we get our notifications all good. Let me see what time we're on. Seven minutes. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Now a couple more things here. We're gonna do another function. And this is going to be a function for mp.admin.bring player. Uh, this should be like probably, probably rarely used. Uh, so we're going to grab source and then target. Uh, but in case you need to use it, we're going to, we're going to have it in here. So we'll do a local uh, ped equals source, just so we can label that. And then we will do a couple things in here. So citizen create thread what we're going to do in here is a function let's end this off right here and inside here we're going to do a couple things so we're going to request what is it collision collision at cord yes so this is going to be our target so we're going to do target x use the same quotes Target X, Y, and Z, basically. Target X, target Y, and target Z. So we're gonna quest that, and then we're gonna set into T. Chords. No offset. So entity is gonna be us, uh, which is gonna be just source or ped. I guess we could do ped uh and what we're gonna set it to is these targets right like this so target chords eos do, do, do. copy and paste those in so x asset access zero y zero and then we're just gonna set us uh slightly above them so it drops us down uh so we don't collide with the ground basically um and what we're gonna do is then freeze our entity position of ped, and that's gonna be true. And then we're gonna set player invincible, just like so, ped, and then true. And 
I believe we need to have a timer now. So let's do a timer. So uh, uh, um, let's see what we could do. We could just do a weight. Weight of, let's give it 5,000. And this is just to make sure that we are basically going to the target. Um, that's really that's really all it is. Uh, making sure we're going to the target when this is called. So we're going to do a wait, and then we're going to basically unfreeze us and unset us to invincible after the wait. Um, so let's actually make it 10,000. And we'll change this to false, which is going to make us uh, unfrozen, uninvis invisible. And that should be it. Um, to call this, though, uh, we're going to need to put in a target. So whenever you call it, you're going to need to put in a target. So for an example, we could do a register net event. And let's just call it mp oops, mp dash admin colon bring player. Just like so, we're going to add the event handler. Oops. Just like that. Do a function of target on source, source and target, source, target, and that off just like so. And in here, we're going to do a basically the chords of the person. So we're going to get our entity chords because we're going to bring them to us, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do here is a local head chords equals get entity chords. And that's going to be a source and false. And then we will do local position equals open brackets. And then we could do uh, pose of X equals pose or whoops equals pet chords my bad pet chords of x so we can do dot x and we can basically just copy and paste these down so y and z so we need a y we need a z y and z and let's make sure we're doing this right actually these should be one. Let's call this. So if we call this, what we are gonna bring in is our position and then our target. So our target's gonna be a number. So target equals number, just to keep that in, and then our position. So we should actually change this to be uh I guess technically we're calling position. I actually, it'll be fine. It will be perfectly fine, I believe. Should we switch it? Let's switch it. Uh, source is sort of already guaranteed. Uh, we'll keep that in here. And let's just do position. Position and target. Do, 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 do. So we'll just change these to position. We don't even call for target though. So I guess we could just do position. And we will see if that works. We'll have to test that later. But that's perfectly fine. And we are 14 minutes in. I was going to do some server stuff, but I don't think I should right now. Uh, so we'll be testing this. And then hopefully next video is going to be notifications. Because we really need to get our notifications done. Uh, which is going to be in our elements. Uh because we're, let's be real, we're lacking highly on notifications right now. Uh, a lot of things need notifications that we just don't have. Uh, for an example, I think we could just search for notification. And this is searching everything. Yeah, look at this, add notifications, notification, like we need a lot of these notifications that are uncommented. Like we need to fix that, so hopefully that next episode we will fix it but that will be next hopefully on thursday cross my fingers we're not too sure uh this is a good start for admin stuff 
Uh, that means we could turn all these into exports whenever we need to as well. Uh, but I will see you on the next.